federal government says over 1.1 trillion naira was generated through independent revenue from its ministries, departments, and agencies between January and November last 2021. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, gave the figure at the public presentation of the 2022 budget in Abuja. She also said the federal government is to spend 3.61 trillion naira servicing Nigerians' debt burden in the 2022 fiscal period. The amount represents about 34% of the 2022 projected revenue of the federal government. The Nigerian economy is fully diversified, that the oil and gas sector today contributes just around 7.5% to the Nigerian uh, economy. Nigeria's inflation rate has sustained its decline. The inflation dropped further in the month of November 2021 to 15.4%. From a four-year high of 18.17% in March 2021. Nigeria is experiencing a worsening debt level as its indebtedness rose by 2.5 trillion naira between July to September 2021. The country's debt burden, as revealed by the Debt Management Office, has now hit a record 38 trillion as at September 30, 2021. Despite the fact that Nigeria's debt-to-GDP ratio is one of the highest in sub-Saharan Africa, the minister still maintained that the country's debt is within sustainable level. Real GDP grew by a record 5.01% in the second quarter of 2020, one of the biggest growth recorded by any nation across the sub-Saharan Africa uh, nation, and in fact, the highest growth recorded by our economy since 2014. Recovery was sustained by a growth of 4.03% in the third quarter of 2021, and this recovery was fueled by the implementation of government's economic sustainability plan, the ESP, as well as the easing of COVID-19 induced restrictions on economic activities. In his remark, the Director General, Budget Office of the Federation, Ben Akabweze, said, based on analysis, government has the ability to generate more revenue from MDS. The ability to generate more revenue from MDS. He said the federal government will continue to strengthen its control mechanism to make the revenue process more transparent and inclusive. You know, everybody is not just focused on the federal you know, government, and as you saw from the resource uh, contribution, government resource contribution towards achieving the NDP 2021 to 2025. Federal government shared 29 trillion, but the states have 20 trillion. So, and that's going to be delivered largely through their budgets. So we all need to focus more on the, the, the state budgets. The 2022 budget was signed into law on December 31st by President Muhammadu Buhari, CNN News.